Little Miss Mouse's Wedding Once upon a time, a family of mice lived happily beside a stream. There was Father Mouse, Mother Mouse, and Little Miss Mouse. After some time, Little Miss Mouse was all grown up. So Father Mouse thought, My little girl needs a husband. The bags are packed, Father Mouse announced the very next morning. We're off on a trip to find you a husband, but only the best, most powerful husband in the whole world will do. Intrigued, Little Miss Mouse asked, And who might that be, Father? Father Mouse looked a little less sure. It's, it's, it's the sun, he said. He makes our days bright and warm, and he helps flowers to bloom. We'll meet him. Father Mouse led the family up to the top of the mountain, where the sun rested. "'Oh, Mr. Sun,' called Father Mouse, "'we wanted to ask you, you, who are the most powerful thing in the world.' "'Powerful? Me?' interrupted the sun. "'When Mr. Cloud covers my face, he blocks all my light and warmth. I'm not powerful then.' "'In that case,' said Father Mouse, "'we will talk to Mr. Cloud.' They decided to rest until morning, and when they awoke, they saw Mr. Cloud resting on the mountain top. Father Mouse led the family back to the top of the mountain. Mr. Cloud, he said, we have been told that you are the most powerful thing in the world. Powerful? Me? interrupted the cloud. When the wind blows, he bounces me all over the sky. I'm not powerful then. In that case, I, I guess we will talk to the wind, said Father Mouse. Let's just have some breakfast first, Mother Mouse suggested. Soon, the wind came along and puffed the cloud away. Mr. Wind, Mr. Wind, called Father Mouse. We hear you're the most powerful thing in the world. Powerful? Me? sighed the wind. That wall down below can stop me in my tracks. I'm not powerful then. In that case, we'll talk to the wall, Father Mouse said while they climbed down the mountain. Mr. Wall, is it true that you're the most powerful thing in the world? Huh. Oh, I wish I was, the wall sadly said. I may look strong, but when I feel a little mouse nibbling at my bricks, I can crash at any time. Oh, dear, Father Mouse said. In that case, we will talk to a little mouse. Making their way along the wall, they found a young mouse. Mr. Mouse, Father Mouse said. We hear you're the most powerful thing in the world. I wouldn't say that, the little mouse replied. But you're more powerful than the wall, said little Miss Mouse. And the wall is more powerful than the wind, added Mother Mouse. And the wind is more powerful than the cloud, continued Father Mouse. And the cloud is more powerful than the sun, finished little Miss Mouse triumphantly. I think you'd make the perfect husband for my daughter, said Father Mouse. And... It seems she likes you. Will you marry her? The young mouse was delighted to say yes. They were married that very day and lived happily ever after. The End